Hello, I'm Ryan. I have a story to share about Ronnie. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so much. I don't get on Facebook that much to really know any updates and it it sucks so much. I already lost my brother. So to any of you that are family with Ronnie, I've lost my brother too, and I know how it feels. But a little story I wanted to share. Back when he lived near the cemetery in Fort Worth with his parents, I used to go over there all the time, and he's basically my first friend <laughs> that got me into smoking marijuana. He, <laughs> he'd always ask his dad before he'd go to sleep if he had any, and we'd kind of spend the night smoking and then playing Mega Man, <laughs> playing uh, a little bit of acoustic guitar, uh, just talking. <laughs> I think he, uh, me and him uh, broke into a car next door. Actually, we didn't break in, it was unlocked. We just opened it and found two packs of cigarettes in there. I think that's when we were like 13 years old. We <laughs> took a pack of cigarettes from their car and smoked a lot of marijuana there. And I'd always enjoy going over there all the time. Always takes, uh, like every time we got hungry, he'd make chips and sprinkled like cheddar cheese on there and warm it up in the microwave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he used to come up with this little phrase, uh, something like impersonating Arnold Schwarzenegger. He would say like, I would like an ice cold beer, you know? Two syllables, B ya. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Stuck in my head quite a bit. He used to love making remixes from uh, the movie Robocop. And it was pretty funny uh, <laughs> what he did, but I don't think I can find those anymore. If I have any more stories to share, then I don't mind uploading some of these videos and stories that I discuss. And love you, Ronnie. I miss you. Until next time, y'all have a good night or day, and I'll share another story another time. Good night.